All right, today is the day. Uh, it was supposed to be a terrible rainy day, but instead turned into this beautiful, beautiful day. So I'm taking, taking advantage of it. Today we're going to see if this F-150 runs. Um, this is a very unique truck. If you are into automotive mysteries, automotive oddities, automotive rarities, you're going to want to hit the subscribe button because I will be doing a specific video about what this truck is soon. Uh, I'm still doing research, still trying to get to the bottom of what it is. So, it's an F-150, which is not particularly special. Everybody knows what an F-150 is. However, we have an eight lug front axle. We have an eight lug rear axle. So, it's an F-150 on F-250 running gear from the factory. This was not somebody mincing two vehicles up into one. This was done from the factory. How do I know? Because it is an F-13 Ford F-130 model truck. So F-13 model F-130. So it is a Ford F-130 I'll be doing a video about what specifically is an F-130. So stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button if you want to find out. Because um, I will be making that. But today, so far, it's looking to be good. We're going to see if this thing runs. You can see it's in pretty darn good shape. This has been out in the woods since late 2002. It's an overall good shape. Um... The window channels that are famous for being rusted off the trucks, these dent side Fords are famous for it, are in really good shape. Um, it has some damage there. It's got a little bit of rust, you know, stu super, 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 super typical for, you know, a truck this old, especially one that's been out in the woods. Um, but I'm very pleased. To me, this is a very solid truck, all things considered, uh, especially when you consider how much I paid for it, which was not much. I paid about $500 delivered on this truck. So somebody brought it to my house for $500. Um, right here is a 79 short bed F100. This truck is a 306, three on the tree. That's super fun if anybody's ever driven a three on the tree. You know, that's super old school. You don't really see much of that around anymore. So I'm hoping that one runs too. Um, again, if you want to see that run, uh, hit the subscribe button. My next video will probably be seeing if that runs. I don't know if it does or does not. So we'll, we'll find out together on that. This is a four in the floor 306. Um, if you guys know anything about Ford 306 engines, you know they are just insanely reliable so i have high hopes for this truck um yeah let's let's get to it and see if this thing runs all right so let's see what is in oh, this beauty hopefully not a monster mouse nest we shall see. All right. Who oh got? All right. Made in USA Pure Later filter that looks actually fairly new. I mean, since 2003, but like new to news and lower miles. Um, definitely, <laughs> there is a ton of nuts and nutshells down in here. So the air filter, it's a good sign that the air filter was on because all that would have been down the intake, which is not what we want. Um, There we go. Keep 
that puppy, like so. All right, let's get our handy dandy flashlight. No trash, no trash down the carb, so that's good. Uh, throttle's not sticky. Um, hmm, somebody has took the starter solenoid. Interesting. Huh. Well, I've got one, so first step first, I'm going to have to clean this up. new wires. This thing has 20 something year old antique plates on it so somebody was cruising around with it uh, once upon a time. It's been sitting obviously for a very long time in the woods but we're gonna I think somebody was taking care of it like this somebody liked the truck because I've noticed a couple newer looking things like this cable it's super dusty but it looks like this is not factory this looks like a part store replacement so I mean somebody cared enough to put some parts on this once upon a time. Um, all right. Whether that's good enough or not, I don't know. We'll find out. It's nice and stripped out on both sides, so probably not gonna, probably not gonna do shit. But oh well. Let me see. Try to decipher what they had going on here. Okay, 
so this thing is grounded so poorly. to work but we're just gonna go for it all right negative wire negative what am I talking about Positive to the, sorry, positive to the starter. Alright. Where, oh, where is the negative cable? See a negative cable. Alright, we're back. So, the good thing about having a bunch of shit boxes around is you always have spare parts. So, I found a cable since somebody has robbed the negative cable off of this thing. They took the, they took the starter solenoid. And then they took the negative cable. Hmm. Actually going to clean that up a little bit. Temp this up. Okay. All right. So that should get us going for now. All right. I'm back. Um, I figured you probably didn't really want to see. Just stare at the engine for five minutes while I ran and grabbed the jump box. Um, um, let me tighten that up. Ooh. Let's give this thing some upper cylinder lubricant. If it does turn over. Holy shit. 
She turns over. That is awesome. Uh, <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, so... She seemed to do good. I didn't hear any like binding sounds or whatnot. Like I didn't hear it trying to bind. I didn't hear any like clunking. Oil level's good. It's not even pitch black like I was expecting. Um, shit. Okay. Let's see what a can of ether does. thing tried to fire. Alright. Let's load her up boys. Holy smoke. Alright, well that's awesome. Let me just right there. Okay, so <laughs> so let's give her some more upper cylinder lubricant because she runs. I cannot believe it. I wonder why somebody parked this thing. one more time. That's awesome. So I want to let's see if I do right here and then we've got our air clean here a good long run so what I did there is I soaked the air cleaner with ether so that um, it would basically act like a wick it would act like a wick and the suction of the engine would pull the ether out of it over time instead of all at once so that we could get that nice long extended run that was a good I don't know five second seven second run so that I could really tell if there was any knocking bad sounds anything like that uh, <laughs> I didn't hear anything oil level oils not pitch black it's like a dark honey it's right at the perfect fill level um, there was no no smoke I didn't hear any like top end noise or anything Holy smoke. Uh, well, I kind of want to disconnect this and gravity feed some gasoline. 
So hang tight, my friends. All right, so camera died, so I have to go charge it, but that's fine because it gave me time, time to charge my jumper box more and gather up some stuff. So I got a bottle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill that with gasoline. Then I've got some tubing here. Uh, I'm going to disconnect the fuel tank and connect this to it and have my little jug of gas and see if the uh, fuel pump runs, uh, not runs, if the fuel pump functions and uh, if the truck runs off of gasoline, which would be nuts because this thing has been in the woods since late 2002. So hang tight. Cool, fuel line is on. Um, this looks kind of sketchy. I may, let's see, what are you? You are a suction line. Oh, there we go. Let me just temporarily unhook that. Come on, baby. Operate. I'm trying to help you. Let's see if I can get. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. All right. So I'm going to put a filter, second filter, one I can see through. So obviously this is a fuel filter, but I'm gonna put a secondary one so I can see if it's getting fuel. So, oh shit, where'd you go? I'll pick that up later. There we go. All right, so you. So, do I have any clamps? I sure do. These are cute. They got like a little key, little key to them. Get on there. There we go. There's one. Let's see. Need one more. For that section. All right, there's two. Um, this piece of hose looks pretty bad, so there we go. Beautiful. So, probably cut like a section like that. A couple more of these clamps. Really like these clamps that have this little key built onto them. It makes it so easy to tighten them. All right. Last but not least, I'm gonna have to bend this thing a little bit. Um, let's see, I want you pretty much straight up. And then, probably bend you down like so. that and then do something like this right here there we go 
There we go. That works good. All right, it is ugly as sin, but that will temporarily let us know if we are getting fuel or not. So. Da -da. Let me adjust you a little bit. Just like so. Okay. All right. Now, I need to fill my container here. All right. We now have gasoline. Um. Need to hole to the top of one bolt. Alright, just cutting a hole in the top of this to feed my line through. It doesn't have to be airtight, watertight, nothing like that. Let me adjust you down again. Ah, oh, that is perfect. It's nice and secure there, so if I get tires on this thing, if it runs and moves and everything, I can drive it around the yard. I think that would be fine. So I'm gonna cut this right there. Perfect. Just gonna lube that up. Okay. All right. So, fuel to the fuel pump. Fuel pump whoop, up to the carb. So we are going to find out if this thing will run off of fuel. So, probably. do this trick again. Just to see. that does uh, mm -hmm. all right wish me luck yet. Got an idea? Got an idea. Pour a shit ton of gas down there. Let's make sure we set this thing on fire the right way.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I see. I see a little bit of fuel. I think that fuel pump works. Let's do that one more time. That's definitely fuel. Okay. That's yeah, pulling fuel. Um, kind of want to hit the gas pedal a couple times. I hope it does not backfire. That'd be awful. fuel and it's running um, definitely have a vacuum leak right here let me see hooking this up helps that at all I don't know if it will Brake booster could be the brake booster. I'll get some vacuum caps here in a second. tight let me get some vacuum caps and uh, cap off the carb see if we can figure out that vacuum leak all right got some vacuum caps here so I cut the brake booster hose because it is cracked in so many so many places that was obviously in my opinion my vacuum leak was that um, but there's a couple more, like there's a cap right here and it is, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's super cracked too. So we're going to replace that as well. Um, yeah. You are the vacuum advance for the distributor. It actually seems like it is okay. So we will leave that. There's another falling apart vacuum cap right here. The whole end of it has fallen off already. So it's, yeah. It's just 
turned to mush. There we go. Mm -hmm. is not full anymore so I'm wondering if we just ruptured the fuel pump hard to tell uh, we'll see here in a second kept that going uh, but I, I've not checked the radiator yet this radiator clamp you can see it's a bit of the dust so I need to find a clamp for it let's take a look see in it nothing nope, not that I see um, nothing <laughs> there is a single pumpkin seed on top here how that got in there I do not know because both hoses are on there so I need to get some clamps I need to take that carburetor off and rebuild it. Um, but we are running. This thing, it's smoking a little bit under the hood, obviously from 20 plus years of just crap dripping and dust, stuff like that. But I didn't see any smoking out of the tailpipe. Hmm. get it going run one more time don't want to let it run too too long because it's got no water in it so I don't want to overheat anything All right, that's it for now. Um, I need to put water in here, get some radiator hoses. That's all I'm gonna do, because I, whew, that's plenty of heat. 
plenty of heat, so yeah, exhaust manifold's getting hot, so we're gonna call that good without putting coolant in here. Um, but holy smoke, this thing runs and runs damn good. So I'll pull the carburetor off and rebuild it. Um, now that I know it, um, so it runs. Uh, no terrible sounds, I didn't hear any knocking. Um, Oil actually looks really good, considering. I mean, obviously I'm gonna do an oil change, but just, yeah, it's at the right level. I don't see any metal shavings. Didn't hear any knocking. Uh, holy smoke, I think this thing is gonna be a good runner. Um, carburetor rebuild clamps and probably new radiator hoses no more expensive than they are um probably these look kind of just old and brittle probably do spark plugs plug wires distributor cap rotor maybe coil probably order a fuel pump to keep as a spare because i don't trust that diaphragm the rubber diaphragm that's in that fuel pump has been sitting there dry rotting for 20 something years so i mean it's working now but i don't trust it to stay working if i get this thing back on the road so probably a spare fuel pump tires definitely need tires the tires on this are like you can read a newspaper through them um but for the most part as far as the engine's concerned uh I think we're good. Probably get wheel cylinders, um, some brake components. But yeah, stay, stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna keep working on this thing. Maybe the next video I upload of this, uh, I'll get some tires put on it and maybe do a quick like yard drive with it. Put it under load, see if the engine's making any sounds under load, but as of right now, I think this thing's going to come back to life. Um, so hopefully we get this thing to be a daily driver. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and you will see more of this 76 F-150 soon. Bye.